Perfect. Welcome to Tips Gamers. Today we're going to be talking about the gameplay. We're going to be breaking it down. We're going to be ba breaking down a few of the plays. We're not going to be breaking down all of these plays, watching it. We're going to be breaking down a few of these plays to show you guys what to expect. Because there is a few of them here that really detail what you're going to experience in Madden 23. There's a lot of good and there is some bad as well so these are the things to keep into consideration let's jump into it guys and let's have some fun okay so we're going to break down this play this play is very important and exactly what we wanted to see on how madden's system is going to be how's the passive mechanics along with how are the tackling animations the reading by the cpu this is realism uh versus you know cpu controlled players here running back's gonna get the ball in a wheel route right here i got a single safety so watch what you can see we're gonna run it full speed a few times here just keep watching that watch that cornerback and watch the running back here watch the cornerback watch this running back all right I don't know if you guys caught that yet, but we're going to slow it down for you and just kind of show you here and show you why this is realistic and unrealistic. Okay, so Josh Allen gets the ball. This guy's going on a wheel route. This cornerback's going back. Back. This cornerback has to take the flats. That's his job duty. This cornerback cannot get this receiver here. This is this linebacker's job here because they're in a zone coverage. Okay, so they're going to go for the running back. Now, he's starting to cock back. Josh Allen's starting to cock back now. Joey Bosa's coming to say hello, and he's not bringing cookies. This cornerback is already engaged. He's got his hips engaged. He's moving forward. He's not moving backwards. This is what backwards looks like, okay? This is what a back pedal looks like. This is forward. So he's going forward. Right now, he's already starting to move forward, and the the uh, receiver here who is a running back, so remember that, he is a running back, is 10 yards off. He's only 5 yards off from the sticks. Even if he's in full speed, this cornerback can clear that five yards uh, and get up to speed and get to that ball quick enough. Okay, so this is where it becomes unrealistic. He's already staring down this receiver. This guy is going to bite this and, and try to undercut this route. He's already engaged moving forward. He is going to get there, and he's just not. He's slowing up, slowing up. And then you're going to see the wide receiver, who is a running back, stretch out for the ball. If he couldn't get there in time, he's going to slap the ball away or he's going to try to level and break his collarbone on his thigh pad or hit him uh, at the numbers below the head so it's not a penalty. But he's going to probably go for the ball. The ball's extended. This is a very hard catch for a running back to do, okay, especially with a defender crashing down, and he's not even looking at the defender. He may hear the footsteps of hell, but he doesn't actually know where he is at. So now he engaged now he just saw sight of the defender this defender's already in smacking the ball away or he's going to uh hit him that's the one thing that's going to happen so the most unrealistic thing to happen is what actually happened here which is now he engaged he didn't get his head on the ball uh, the side of the ball here and now you're seeing it's a wrestling match at this moment there's two types of hits in football there's the just the shoulder tap where you try to hit him and knock him down to the ground or there's the you know basically you're wrapping up at this moment so right here you're seeing his yellow glove is here yellow glove is here he has the outside of the body okay of both soldiers he's basically creating a hug here at this moment in time okay his their bodies are smushed together so his left arm is the only arm can engage because he has the ball on the right side uh, the right arm here so they're basically touching helmets too so he is squeezing him with both arms and he only has one arm activated so what happens here he squeezes cheeks and he pops throws a 200 pound man using just triceps and this is where it becomes uh just it's it's not plausible here so before someone comes out and says that this is plausible remember that for football players and the people that are actually trying to do these moves, it's not as plausible as you actually think. This ball should have got intercepted. This ball should have got batted down, or he should have got hit one of the two. Josh Allen would have got yelled at for killing his running back or getting a you know pass uh, knocked down. This defender would have got benched uh, for a pop tart, uh, honestly, because that is ridiculous to throw 200 pounds with just one tricep and a little bit of leg i don't know about that that is very tough and then it ends uh, hysterically where this guy takes out this guy here ah uh, and then ah uh, that's perfect all right so here are the settings too you go into game options here you're going to see the skill based passing passing type placement and accuracy you're going to see where it is so you have placement here which is enables control over the placement of the pass within the target area and find control over pass strength placement and accuracy is what they have said here enables control over the placement of the pass within the target area and finer control over the pass strength and accuracy 
Okay, so they add a little bit of the accuracy right there. So then classic, you disable it here. You have the passing slowdown, which is pretty cool, I guess. Um, and then you have the free form uh, reticle max distance. Um, and you got a lot of cool stuff going on here. So this is a good deep pass uh, that we've seen from Madden because the deep pass has always been an, an issue. It used to not be. It used to be just OP and then in recent years it became like an issue where guys just caught up to it too easily. Here you got Williams going against a linebacker so this is pretty realistic here. He throws it to where it's either Williams is going to get it or no one's going to get it. And it was, a, it was a great pass. You know, that was a very good pass. I like to see that uh, and this is realistic right here. I didn't see any problem with that. It's when the animations start to get in the way of the realism which then it becomes a problem so here we're going to see the double team tackle and uh you know i don't really see any issue with this uh you're not seeing the animations to where this guy's going to just be holding him up for an extended period of time and making it really dramatic it's pretty quick which i like to see he holds him up he starts to get a little bit of leverage the other linebacker comes in and cleans it out and uh they just push him to the ground so i like that i don't really see any issue with this it's he's not holding him up forever and just bapping his feet doing that it's more quick reactionary this is more realistic and i i don't have an issue with this so here you're going to see you know they call it the free form passing here you're going to see excellent work on madden so you're going to see the circle here he's going to be going far left uh he obviously could have gotten some of these guys open here but this is a perfect example of showing what you can do with the passing me mechanics here receiver is going for the ball there there's two defenders here and the you know the receiver he's going to want that ball away from those two defenders and he places it as far left as he can here and then instead of backpedaling here though i would have liked to see him just turn the opposite way catch it put his body in between the ball and the defenders instead of the ball and then his body backpedaling and the defenders right there next to the ball, making it more contested. Uh, but I like to see this. I think they could patch this up a little bit, make it a little bit more clean and kind of have the receiver do a little bit of a different motion uh, in this or a different animation when he goes in to catch it. Uh, but I like it. I do like it. And at this point, you know, we're just picking the small details, but this, but this is what I've been saying to you guys is that they're going in the right direction. So this is a good one showing off the running mechanics here. It definitely looks a little bit more smooth. Still looks a little bit weird. You know, it looks a little bit strange here, but he gets the ball. He starts to go left. He's not stuck in the mud. He's more loose. He's leaning. You're starting to see the lean there, which I like. And then he's going back the other way, and that would be a very hard cut to pull here. I mean, this would be very, very tough. Uh, Eckler can do it, though, but I like that. I mean, he's just bobbing and weaving. And, then, and this makes it incredibly difficult uh, to actually tackle these guys a little bit of push in the back there but then he gets stopped up by his lineman gets completely lucky and then pops out and this is some of the um unclean uh you just got a lot going on he's stuck on him and then he pops out you know and that's you can't say that that's completely unrealistic um you just say it's weird looking you know a lot of motion going on there uh, but it is something that i do like so you got your defensive audibles here too as well uh, that you can call we'll listen in on these this. some of these new plays the new disguise yeah. plays added uh spade does that mean defensive playbooks got bigger or was there some stuff taken out in lieu of those uh disguise plays yeah we removed some stuff i mean we we definitely have the data to see what plays are being ran how much of the playbook is being used and we just felt like we had these these swollen playbooks with a lot of plays in it. Some of them were the same, like slightly different variations of the same play. And wow. we just did some what cleanup. Nice. We just went through and removed stuff that people weren't using a lot. See, I like that. I like that. That is the stuff that is good right there. That, that when you are removing stuff and you're using analytics to remove it, and you're saying, ah, you know, it's not just someone's opinion here. This one's amazing, though. And I like right here that this is always scary. This has always been scary of trying to go up. Usually as a quarterback in Madden, you want to go outside because you're like, I don't even want to get near my lineman and glitch, fall down, like hit him, get stuck, something like that. So this was, I like to see this moving up into the pocket, more realistic. And now the block happens. And then Herbert, you know, is like, OK, I'm not going to move up. Uh, I'm going to still look for the pass throws back shoulder and i mean really back shoulder here uh that was a hell of a throw and uh, just snapping it back like that was just wow uh really nice uh to see there 
this is where they're starting to get ahead. That is the stuff I like to see because now you're making it to where it, it, it's just more intense. It's more engaging. And, and they're actually following what they've been preaching was we want to create a more immersive uh, gameplay for you guys. Immersive game for you guys. And, and Madden's doing well with it. And yet, maybe you're, you're excited to hear people talk about something that's under the radar. I think I'm going to go with defensive evade moves. Like this is the first time in Madden we've given users a tool to evade blockers in the open field and just try to get around a blocker. Okay, yeah, but there is a problem with this though, is that Madden shows stuff like this and you go, Ugh, this isn't really what I wanted to see here because although you're talking about defensive uh, evade moves and you know, uh, when you see something like this, this lineman, I'm, I don't know if you're blind. I don't know what's happening here. But if you're looking forward here and you're seeing this giant uh, Edmonds coming at you, six foot five, 250 pounds, oh, crap. Uh, I mean, I don't know who you're thinking you're blocking here, but you only got one guy to block, and then you're just staring, and you just keep chopping your feet going left. That's bad. Uh, this is... This is not a proud moment here, and if I was mad, I would have stopped here and been like, look, guys, we understand that this is something that we are trying to fix. Uh, because at least do something here, but to allow him to literally run right by you and hit your almost half a billion dollar quarterback, potentially, at least 200 million is what he's looking at now. This is going to be one of your last times playing. Because if you do this more than twice in a game, I don't think the NFL, any team's going to be like, yeah, we like to have you. Uh, no, that was that was a bad, bad performance there. Uh, really bad performance. You know, they're a little bit of a whiff there. Uh, Von Miller, uh, you know, I, I can't complain there. That's not too terrible. You whiff some. It was a weird whiff, though. But, you know, it was a game at the end of the day. It's not going to be perfect. It's, this is not going to be real life. It's going to be as good as it can be to real life. Um, but here... This is not a move that I think is a good move because at least he's going to get hand on, on shoulder here and he's going to roll with him. Okay, he's not even getting hand on shoulder. He's not even trying to get hand on shoulder because this happens in the NFL. He's going to get just a hand on that shoulder and he's going to guide him out. Just guide him out like a little choo-choo train. Just be like, all right, let's go. And then the quarterback step up under the pocket here, cut off of his butt here, and that's what's going to happen. But here he's keeping his hands tight. Uh, that's those are problems that people are going to get irritated with. All right, so right here they're talking about the stand-up tackles. Now here's the problem I have with this: the stand-up tackles. You're on kickoff. How many stand-up tackles are going to happen on kickoff? I mean, it just I don't know. It just doesn't happen as much as you think on kickoff. Like it's just uh, you guys coming full speed and then boom, stand up. These guys just hit each other. Then he throws them off. That other guy can't get to him. The other guy jumps, misses, dives. They just keep doing this. Um, this is a problem that I see here. He dives, no leverage. This guy is running, has, this guy was stopped. This guy was running and then he jumps and he doesn't go forward at all. He just stops, slows down and then jumps like, no, I just, you just don't jump like that. Um, pretty terrible. So they're going to go and they're going to show a uh, touch an interception here, right? Now this interception, you know, they talk about it here and I, and I, and I was led. Like this might be the year of the seams. I'm not gonna lie. The way it these might, seams are looking, be. if you can learn to use that 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 skill based passing, you're gonna be able to attack the seams much more easily. Absolutely. Oh, 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 oh. Murray, Kenneth Murray. Murray. Kenneth Murray. Yeah, I see you. Kenneth. Okay, big problem here. Now, well, let's watch this right side. Watch these two receivers here. Watch B. Tell me that this is not a, an issue here. Why would you stop? Watch him again. No one brings this up, but I have a problem with this. Boom. What, you just freezing? Why are you freezing? Frozen. What? I don't understand it. Let's watch it freeze again. Frozen. Play still going on, and they just froze. Not good. Uh, that is not good. That is not what I want to see in Madden's release of how good this game is. I don't want to see that stuff. I really don't. All right, so here you're going to get the peanut pop is uh, what we see here. Now, I like this. I'll, I like this a lot. It's like a boop, and then he just pops the ball out. Nothing long, dramatic. They're not dancing for 10 years. You know, nothing like that. They're just playing football. Nice little peanut pop, and they're on their way. So, we're going to end it here. 
That's we saw everything we needed to see. High ambitions in the right mind can take you so far. It's like you lived a few lifetimes. Take off from a break off from the weak minds. They can stay soft. You can change lives. You create thoughts. Never waste time. You got one shot. You got one life. Better pop off. What do you like? Make a dream job. No nine five. No mean boss. Just my life and free thought.